Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a new Let's Play. Today we'll be starting the Sly Collection by doing Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus for the Nintendo... Nintendo. Oh my god. Derp moment, guys. Derp moment. Not Nintendo. Sony PlayStation 2 remastered on Sony PlayStation 3, which is the version we'll be playing today. Sucker punch. Here we go, guys. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Press Sly, start for a new game. Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, looks like we have to get to that vent. So yeah, press X to use your cane. Uh, you can press, or I mean square. X is to jump, you can double jump. Uh, R allows you to go into your scope. L does the exact same thing. R2 and L2 do nothing. Triangle does nothing. Circle does nothing. I'm pretty sure we unlock abilities, so yeah, that that's a thing. Can I, like, kill these rats? You can also climb by jumping on surfaces and stuff. You know, flammable surfaces, that is. Also starring Bentley the Turtle and Murray. Woo! What is that? Gotta love that, man. So yeah, just doing some exploring. This is done like a movie. Which I do not mind that it's done like a movie. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's done, done like a comic book as well. I think Sucker Punch is really good. I believe they also Sucker Punch also made Infamous. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be Vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master Raccoon Thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yeah, because he just knows what the circle button is, right? So yeah, just hold it down and he sneaks. I like how you get like the sneaky music though. It's like do 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 do. Aha, there's the vent. Because as a thief, I'm not quiet. I just smash into shit. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Easier said than... Actually, it's not really easier said than done. Alright, nothing else hidden in here. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's anything. office is behind the red door. Behind the red door, okay. That's a green door. Really? Smoking? Ah, oh, you mean the red door with a, a picture of a fox on it? That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. You mean right here? God, that's scary. You think you'd fall, but you don't. And wow, you just leave it open. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Okay, 937. Open! Nice 
Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Thanks, bros. Okay, anything in here to collect? Money! I honestly forget what money is used for in this game. I really do. I remember what it's used for in the second, third, and fourth game. Man, the fourth game almost came ten years later, I swear. Actually, I think it did. Can I just come out through this? I can't exit through the door? Yeah, it's locked both ways. Aha, booze has money in it. Criminal! Ah, shit. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Aha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Yikes, so she has a paralyzing pistol, yet he called it a bazooka. So we're already on like a mini boss type level, and we have to escape Carmelita Fox. She'll be after you the entire game, by the way. Even though... I don't know. If you get hit, I believe you lose. It's actually a pretty interesting challenge from the beginning of the game. Oh, there's our getaway van. In we go. You can't escape me, raccoon! Well, I kind of just did escape you. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoons. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Well, we must get back the Thievius Raccoonus, shouldn't we? You know, so we can become a master thief. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Sounds easy enough. Some movies. I've already plotted a route. Missions. Hey, let's do our first mission then. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. 
The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Welsh Triangle Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. I think I was done like a movie slash comic book, though. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Here we are, stealthy approach. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Destroy signs. Now we will have to collect bottles, you know, to actually get 100%. Oh. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> that I live for it, man? Oh, there's some random enemy over here just, just chilling. I want to beat him up. This is very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Well, we have 4 to 20 bottles so far, so we're doing good. Not overly bad. Do, 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 do. More bottles. It was funny because when we were dealing with Carmelita Fox, we were, the time was 4.20. Like it, that was a really random time to choose. Okay, let's just get as much money as possible. Destroy that sign that has an eyeball. That, that just looks weird. Ah, secret. Climby, 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 climber. I guess you don't have to actually break them. Oh, that actually worked. Not in the way that I intended to. Let's go up here. See, it looks like we could fall down there, but I don't think we want to. We're almost halfway done with the bottles already. Like, there are bottles in each given area. Like, it's not just for the entire level. Don't think that the 20 is just for the level. And I always forget they gotta push circle, because for some reason to climb a ladder in this game is gonna require more work than other games. Man, I love that ship horn. Hold on, Sly! See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Sweet! Random video game mechanics. Anything that feels like it should be real life. There we go. I believe that actually deactivates the searchlights. Dude! Stop with your goddamn giant throwing stars. And they're not even ninja stars. They're just big throwing stars. Money! Money, money, money! Sound like Trump. And I believe that just saved your progress. So, look it. Oh, okay. It's for extra health. I got it. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. He says that so casually, it's like if he gets in my way, it's on. Like Donkey Kong. Oh, fire breathers now, that, that's just lovely. Can I actually go in this water? Oh, you can, there's just a current. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I really like the PlayStation 2 era. I think it had some of the best games of all time. I don't know, gaming just hasn't been as fun since. We only need we only need five more bottles. Nice job so far, Sly. 
To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Okay, sounds easy enough. Circle seems to be the uh, main ability in this game. Or the main button to do actual commands. Oh, you can use the uh, right analog stick to move the camera. That's actually very helpful. Didn't tell us that, but... Very helpful indeed. Yeah, I believe in this game, Sly technically dies in one hit, so be careful. I think he dies in one hit. Maybe not. Maybe he just gets extra hits, you know, when we get stuff, but... Come on, man. I want more bottles. I don't want to miss... It. I don't want to miss anything, you know? I want to get 100%. How many bottles? Eventually, I believe you find enemies that take more than one hit to kill. Not all enemies are going to be really easy to kill. Yeah, see, there's where we need all the bottles. Large vault has got to be somehow related to those ah. bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Yeah, but how do we get up there? Ah, wait a minute. How many do we have? Can we check? No, pressing select just brings up that. By the way, it looks like we actually have to go this way. Now, don't grab the key just yet, because if you do, then you'll leave if you go near that door, and we don't want to do that quite yet. Um, excuse me. Game, what were you doing? Wait, are those the last two? I hope these are the last two. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, bottle hoarder. Is that a is that a gold trophy, really? Oh yeah, I forgot this account doesn't have the um. Wait a minute, why did I do that? The ball was back here. Um, I forgot that this account doesn't actually have a lot of the trophies. The only platinum I believe I have on this is for Infamous Second Son. Okay, what is the code, sir? The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is seven nine two. 792 and there we go 1% Sly, you found a page from the Dive Bomb Kudus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move Press the triangle button to use it Sweet, I'm cool with that New move Yeah, so now we have... Oh wait, I thought it was like diving in the air. No, it's just press triangle and you have a new attack. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does help us. Having extra stuff is always good. 2%. Yeah, there we go. That music was really loud. I believe this game is actually the easiest of the series to get a 100% uh, on. So we should get a platinum by the time we're done. Prowling the grounds. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be doing part two of this level, Prowling the Grounds. So if you guys enjoy this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for some more Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus.